So all that software, all that infrastructure to build a digital factory is really, really important. And part of that, and part of our thesis too, is one of the most important places to have unique mass customized products is in medicine. Right? I talked about it for footwear, but you think about teeth, you think about ears, noses, sleep, you know, CPAP masks for sleep apnea, all sorts of places, coronary devices. I told you in the beginning I started a biodegradable stent company. Right? You think about that. It's, it's not different than buying shoes. Right? What's, you know, the interventional card, you're, if you're on the cath table and it's an emergency situation and you've got a blockage and the interventional cardiologist, she looks up on the cath, on the, on the TV screen and looks at your blockage, she just makes a decision what size stent that you need in that particular blood vessel. You don't want a standard stent, right? You want a stent designed for your anatomy, right? And what's the fact, you know, the future is going to be a situation where she can look at that maybe do some drawings right on the screen, the software calculates what stent you need for your particular blockage or your particular uh, uh, tributaries off that, off that vessel, hit a print button, it prints a stent, and then she can place it into you, designed for you, right on the cath table. Right? That's the future. I don't want to push that through the FDA today, uh, but those kinds of things are happening, and in medicine it's going to be a really powerful opportunity. So we believe that this breakthrough approach, real materials made at game-changing speeds, is just a ticket to close the chasm in the technology adoption curve. And when you think about this, and you think about you know, all the different business schools, Harvard Business School, Stanford, so many people are talking about what is digital going to mean today, right? And there's so many different business models, on-demand inventory. We live in a, a slow growth economy today. Right? How do you create value if you're a CFO in a slow growth economy? You've got to free up capital. It's one of the simplest ways to do it. There's so many companies with billions of dollars of slow moving inventory, inventory that's been sitting around for a decade, and a lot of it's plastic parts. And plastic polymer parts degrade over time. They densify, they get brittle, they hydrolyze, they fade. You actually want a fresh part let alone a, a part that's on your books for all that time period. And so on-demand inventory is a new business model. Could you have a warehouse in the cloud where you just pull it down and make parts as you need them? Or you're in an oil rig somewhere. Or maybe you're in a remote village and, you're, and your water irrigation system's gone down. You need parts. You think about all the different new business models that are going to change. 